Russian figure skating has been developing steadily in recent years, if not to say on a rolling basis. Slowly, we will create a new tournament there, we will attract sponsors here, but without sudden movements. And here came a situation that forced us to act with revolutionary methods in an innovative way. Alexander Gorshkov, President, and Alexander Kogan, CEO, who were re-elected unanimously and without alternative, made their May theses. And some of the innovations gave me goosebumps. The main thing, we will have a new series of the Russian Grand Prix. Competitions will be held in the big palaces of the KHL. The Russian Jumping Championship will be held. The next Russian championship is in Krasnoyarsk, control rentals, in September in Moscow. All this, of course, if we are not returned to the international arena, we will leave this option a few percent probability. In many ways, this follows from what SE has been writing about in recent months. We mention both the Russian jumping championship and the new branding of the Russian Cup. And now the direct speech of our innovators. Plan B is already being developed, Alexander Georgievich, you were re-elected at a difficult time. What are your plans for the new term? Gorshkov, apparently, this is my destiny. I am always elected at the most difficult time. I take it for granted. Today it was said in the speeches of the delegates of the conference, the main topic is the situation in which Russian sport found itself. The main thing is to keep our athletes and coaches, to keep the level of our figure skating at the height at which it is now. We are waiting for the decisions of the Congress in June. But we must be prepared for any development of events. Plan B is already being developed in principle, or Plan X, as it should be called. There is a lot of talk about the fact that now the importance of internal starts will increase. Will there be new tournaments, formats, what is your Plan B? Kogan, we are planning new formats of competitions. A series of starts will be held under the conditional name Grand Prix of Russia. These competitions will be held in several stages. All stages will be broadcast on television, the strongest Russian athletes will take part there. There will probably be athletes from other countries, if they express this desire. The Russian Jumping Championship is planned, I talked to many figure skaters, they are waiting for prizes at domestic competitions. In addition, financial support for Russian sports was announced. What amounts should figure skating expect? Kogan, athletes should have a slightly different motivation, I think. They want to achieve high results. The prize money will be the right bonus to keep you motivated. I can't say what amounts will be discussed while it is being discussed. The issue of support has not yet been discussed with the federations. What will happen to the Russian Cup? Gorshkov, there will be no Cup of Russia as such. There will be a Grand Prix of Russia, there will be six stages, not five, as before. Now the principle of distribution of athletes by these stages is being developed. Kogan, the cherry on the cake, we are planning a tournament under the conditional name of the Russian Jumping Championship. This is another unusual tournament, it will be a completely new format, separate from the Channel 1 Cup. Competitions will be held in large palaces. We are waiting for confirmations now from the palaces, so that they are free. They are played by Continental Hockey League clubs. It turns out, on the sites of the Canadian, reduced size? Gorshkov, we will have to hold competitions at Canadian venues, everyone will be warned. We were simply put in such conditions, we are forced to adapt. Kogan, the task of the last Olympic cycle was to prepare well for the Olympic Games, we can afford to start a new cycle at new venues. Is there any movement towards the construction of a normal figure skating rink in Moscow? Gorshkov, there is a problem of the lack of a normal skating rink for figure skating in Moscow, and after I expressed my aspirations on this issue, there was a reaction. An instruction has been given, as far as I know, to deal with this problem, to work it out. But the construction of a large arena takes time, it is not done just like that. There was information in the media about Natalia Zabiako's transfer to the Canadian national team. Have you received appeals from her, or from the federation of this country? Gorshkov, you know, it all started from the other side. Information about her plans was significantly ahead of official information. We don't know anything. It wasn't exactly a bolt from the blue for us, but we haven't heard about such plans. How can the situation develop? 
the statement is not enough. To start talking about something, you need to get a request from that National Federation Canada. And if you get it, what will you do? Kogan, the subjunctive mood should not be used in these matters. We are doing a lot of legal work to restore the rights of Russian athletes. How is the work going with ISU and cause to protect the interests of our skaters? Gorshkov, communication with ISU continues, there have always been business relations with them. We are sending applications to the Congress. There is a regular correspondence, nothing more. Kogan, we are making legal efforts to restore the rights of Russian athletes. We submitted one petition to the cause, now we have submitted a second one. The decisions will be published in the official communiques of the cause. Is there any understanding of what will happen at the ISU Congress? Apparently, we need to get support to take part in it, but what is the algorithm next? Gorshkov, the last ISU letter was so complicated that it was not easy to understand it. We also cannot say for sure at the moment how events will unfold. Because one letter is followed by another and so on. The federations were asked to express their opinion on our presence, then the ISU Council will decide whether to put this decision to the Congress. That's how we see it.